Welcome back to Views with Hughes, Agenda Free News. This is Jerome Hughes. Now, let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, as you all know, the accolade actor Jody Turner Smith shared her remarks regarding the swift cancellation of the series. Now, we all know that the accolade under Kathleen Kennedy was just basically, you know, one of those Star Wars projects, those Disney Star Wars projects that was always going to stir up some controversy under Kathleen Kennedy and her leadership. But What's really making waves right now is how the actress from the Kathleen Kennedy canceled show feels about the criticism under the Kathleen Kennedy on the show that Kathleen Kennedy received. And she firmly believes that Kathleen Kennedy's and Disney's mishandling, along with other factors, played a huge role. Now, Turner Smith claims that much of the you know, backlash against the act light and Kathleen Kennedy's, which is Kathleen Kennedy's for a project was rooted in racism. And she feels abandoned by Disney under Kathleen Kennedy's watch. Now, as you all know, the actress who played that one lead, which the mother, which Turner Smith played the mother and Aisa in the cancer show from Kathleen Kennedy. And this character under Kathleen Kennedy's approval was a part of a witch coven leading to the twins who had this bizarre virgin birth storyline. And let me tell you, it's getting harder to understand the direction of Star Wars or Disney Star Wars is headed under Kathleen Kennedy. But the bigger issue here isn't just the odd creative decisions that Kathleen Kennedy keeps greenlighting. Nah, uh-uh. It's that this actress believes that the reason behind the criticism was race-related, a claim tied closely to the kind of environment that Kathleen Kennedy has fostered over at Lucasfilm. Now, if you enjoyed the this video, go ahead and smash the like button, share this video before I walk across social media. And if you've ever done so and you enjoyed all the content that I put out there, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Click the bell notification so that way you know if I have future uploads and updates. Now, back into it. Turner Smith sat down with Glamour UK for this interview, and naturally, the topic of the canceled show from Kathleen Kennedy came up, you know, and she was also talking about her other roles, but when the conversation shifted to the cancer show, the act like from Kathleen Kennedy, you know, things just started getting interesting. You see, Turner Smith remember her time working with Amanda Stenberg, a fellow actor hired by Kathleen Kennedy, who apparently handed her an essay about the inner lives of the characters. Now, everybody, this sounds like exactly the kind of overcomplicated approach that Kathleen Kennedy has been pushing. Instead of just sticking to a solid storytelling, we're just getting essays, right? Now, under Kathleen Kennedy and her direction, it seems to me, and now it's all like Star Wars is no longer about the adventure but, and fun, but it's all about over-intellectualized characters and social issues that has nothing to do with the Lord itself. But the heart of... Turner Smith's frustration lies in Kathleen Kennedy's and Disney's response or the lack thereof when the show faced criticism. Now, Turner Smith felt like Disney under Kathleen Kennedy's leadership didn't have her back. And Kathleen Kennedy, the woman in charge of this entire operation, stayed silent. But according to Turner Smith, while people were supposedly dogpiled on the internet with racism and BS, it's that you're like it's like this kind of leadership, or should I say, lack of leadership that we've come to expect from Kathleen Kennedy. I mean, obviously, it's not a surprise to any of us, but here's the thing: Kathleen Kennedy's track record of creating division within the Star Wars community is nothing new. Now, this isn't the first time Kathleen Kennedy led project has actually gotten any backlash from fans, like whether it's The Last Jedi, Solo, or even the now canceled show The Acolyte under Kathleen Kennedy. The same pattern under Kathleen Kennedy's management keeps on repeating. Now, the fans criticize these projects because they stray too far from what Star Wars is supposed to be. But under Kathleen Kennedy, instead of just simply listening to the fans, the response always has been to blame the fans or accuse them of something like racism or sexism. And Kathleen Kennedy just can't seem to accept the fact that maybe just maybe the product itself is not is not good at all. Now, Turner Smith went on to say that Disney led the, um, by Kathleen Kennedy or by and Bob Iger should have made a stronger statement against the so-called racist backlash. Now she says that Kathleen Kennedy's leadership failed in this aspect too. Now told, Turner Smith also added that Kathleen Kennedy should have told fans who criticized the show that they're not real fans. Now, obviously this is the um, counter talk point that Lucasfilm usually send out actors to do, but pretty sure Kathleen Kennedy sent out the actors to do this. Now this is where the absurdity of Kathleen Kennedy's approach shines through. You see, Imagine telling lifelong Star Wars fans that they're not real fans just because they don't like what Kathleen Kennedy and others are doing with the franchise, okay? And now Turner and Turner Smith didn't stop there. You see, 
She suggested that if Kathleen Kennedy and Disney had taken a stand, they wouldn't lose money because people of color, color particularly black, black people, make up a significant portion of the buying power. I mean, I'm be honest with y'all. It doesn't matter what race um the person is. The people who make up the buying power are the people who don't want, don't want any wokeism in the content that Kathleen Kennedy and others like her are delivering. You see, these are the parents who are, who will protect their children, protect other children from the mess like this. And this actress right here, she believes that it would have been more lucrative for Disney as well as Kathleen Kennedy and her leadership to embrace the woke agenda. Now, folks, this is exactly what's wrong with the whole Kathleen Kennedy strategy of having these actors. You see, Kathleen Kennedy has been pushing identity politics for years and it's killing the franchise instead of just you know focusing on what made star wars great in the first place which are good stories compelling characters as well and thrilling adventures kathleen kennedy and lucasfilm have been obsessed with checking every single diversity box and pushing social agendas and that's why star wars is failing under kathleen kennedy now this actress, Turner Smith, goes on to say that and also mention that opinions change and that's what's in vogue today be, won't be um, in vogue tomorrow. And she's suggesting that at some point people will stop caring about whether, you know, the characters in Star Wars are played by people of color. But what Turner Smith and Kathleen Kennedy, for all that matter, fail to understand is that fans don't care about forced diversity or don't want first diversity for diversity's sake but what they care about is that when Kathleen Kennedy's Lucasfilm inserts char characters or, or plot, plot lines that don't feel organic to the story and Kathleen Kennedy has been shoehorning these kinds of things into Star Wars for years and it's one of the reasons why fans have turned against her but basically in a nutshell this actress ended by making a point that people of color, particularly black people, won't stop won't stop participating in these intellectual properties created by white people. But here's the thing. These um, IPs that she claimed that were created by white people and everything, black people have always participated in. It's just the normies out there who are not fans of these kind of things. They always got pushed back and, and flack from people of their own kind, of their own race. And Kathleen Kennedy just to go ahead and decide to make things worse and everything by having people to assume that there's no black people within Star Wars. And she also claims that black people don't get to fail upwards like white men do. Now, people, Kathleen Kennedy is a prime example of someone who has been allowed to fail upwards for years. And under Kathleen Kennedy and her leadership, we've seen failure at the failure in Star Wars. And yet she continues to run the show. Now, if anything, Kathleen Kennedy herself is proof that Hollywood has a failing upwards problem, except it's not about race. It's about how someone like Kathleen Kennedy, who's often consistently alienating fans, is still in charge. All right, so... Now I ask you all this question and I want you all to comment below. Where does this um does Kathleen Kennedy go from here? Well, it's actually clear that Kathleen Kennedy's current strategy of catering to the woke crowd is not working. The fans are actually rejecting Kathleen Kennedy's projects left and right and because they don't reflect what Star Wars is all about. Now, with the council show from Kathleen Kennedy, the acolyte, of course, now gone, and this actress here airing her grievances is only further proof that Kathleen Kennedy's vision for Star Wars is not resonating with the fan base now sooner or later disney's going to have to face the fact that kathleen kennedy's leadership is doing more harm than good but the big question now and i say this clearly the big question now is will disney finally realize that kathleen kennedy is a problem or will they keep just letting kathleen kennedy fail upwards the longer they keep kathleen kennedy in charge the more damage she does to star wars brand and it's that and it's as simple as that you see kathleen kennedy's time at lucasfilm has been marked by controversy and failure and at some point disney is going to have to decide whether they want to continue down that path of failure okay but basically, I mean, what we're seeing here with the cancel show from Kathleen Kennedy is a perfect example of why identity politics and woke agendas don't belong in Star Wars or any other beloved franchise that's been here for decades. And Jody Turner Smith's comments are just another attempt to deflect from the real problem, which is Kathleen Kennedy's terrible leadership. And as long as Kathleen Kennedy is in charge, well, we're going to keep seeing the projects 
like the canceled show from K- Kathleen Kennedy fell. And Disney needs to wake up and realize that the true fans, the ones who have been with Star Wars from the beginning, are what matters most. And if they don't start listening, well, Kathleen Kennedy is going to be the one who destroys Star Wars for good. So let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. Also, be sure to include any additional thoughts you might have this particular topic. If you enjoy what I said in this video, go ahead, smash the like button, share far wide across social media. And if you haven't done so already, you enjoyed all the content that I put out there, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, click the bell notification so that way you'll be notified of future uploads and updates. Till then, peace.